Greetings, my name is Sami Typer and welcome to Acervo Season 2, Episode 3, Anger. Life is not easy. It is full of burning emotions, thoughts and feelings. Perhaps the one to burn hottest and brightest is anger. Also, there is a lot of evidence for anger being the strongest. More people unite in anger than in grief and joy. Crowds of angry people have long been the problem of rulers, oppressive or not, throughout history. Adversely, it is also quite divisive within communities, in which the groups are angry at each other, and such things cause instability in society. Having an unhinged crowd going at their own nails, motivated by nothing but their blind vitriol, is a terrifying thing to see, though an ineffective strategy for gaining control. Note that I will not say that anger has no benefits. I'm not the kind of person to fervently reject everything that isn't bright, happy and peaceful. Anger can boost our energy, motivate us into doing something and make us aware of inequalities and injustices happening around us. For example, someone can take that energy and motivation to start fighting to make the world a better, more egalitarian place. A cause so many people are already fighting for. In opposition, blind rage is dangerous. Extreme anger can even shave some years of your life. Sitting in that bubbling corrosive emotion can cause immense harm, no matter the person. You are not healthy if you keep that much pent-up anger. Bathing, or more accurately, drowning in that toxic emotion will endanger you by making you weaker and increasing how likely you are to get diseases and strong illnesses. It also endangers the people around you by being an uncontrollable, unpredictable and unstable ticking time bomb. You could be set off by any stupid reason and they most certainly don't know all the things that will trigger an outburst from you. If you can't use your anger in a productive way or have so much of it that you fear getting into a dumb fight for an unimportant reason, seek help. Now, I know that therapy is a delicate topic. Therapy might or might not be for everyone, and I have certainly heard horror stories about it, but at least give it a try. Therapy is one of those things that I think everyone should try, and if they don't want it, make it so those who want it can access it. The importance of understanding our emotions and the role therapy plays in that is impossible to understate. I have talked a lot about the feelings of anger and how it can be good or bad, but how will you evaluate? How would I evaluate? I frankly don't know. And while I most certainly have had moments of intense anger, I have managed to let them pass by methodically analyzing what was making me mad. Looking at it, piece by piece made me able to comprehend it better, tackling the small parts before looking at the bigger picture. But that is just one of the approaches I took. In most cases, the person who best knows how you are feeling is you. You are the key for your improvement. It is never my place to identify what you are feeling or to dictate how you should live your life. I just have one piece of advice to give. Care for others, but also take care of yourself. I hope you enjoyed this video. This has been Sami Typer, and thank you so much for watching.